Hey everyone, we're back to do some submissions from Site Control this week in Nogi. Um, one of our main focuses this week in Nogi is the wrist lock and how we can use the wrist lock to move from one submission to the other. Uh, oftentimes we can like break down the person's frames and then when they rack out the wrist lock, it opens up all sorts of chokes and arm bars and all sorts of good stuff. So uh, if you like what you see, make sure to subscribe and like uh, and go train. All right, so again, like using those wrist locks to set up other submissions, like I want you guys to think, when you guys think about submitting someone, you want to take as many like high, uh, high percentage to low risk opportunities as you can. Now, the wrist lock's not necessarily high, uh, high percentage. The first one is, the second one, not so much. You don't see it as much in competition, but it leads you into a submission that is high percentage, right? So we're going to use that wrist lock. It's more of a setup to get a move that's higher percentage to finish. Okay, so again, if I'm here, maybe I attack the first wrist lock, he moves to the second, boom. But I'm still having a hard time getting Keanu. Or maybe he just managed to get a little deeper underhook in as he was coming up. Now look, right away you guys see me wrapping, and I'm trying to get my hand to line up with the back of his neck. Now look, Keanu's doing the right thing. He's got like a deep underhook here. I, I need to be able to post, oh sorry, I got stuck in my shirt, <laughs> post and come around to bring that arm back into the front of my body. So very important, if we want to do the darts, the arm needs to be in front of me. Okay, let's turn just a little bit. Yeah, thank you. So again, looking for that darse, it's very important that that arm is in front of my chest. Okay, now from here, now I'll start to lock. When I lock, I switch my hips, bring my head to the mat, and I go to the mount. Now from here, for me to finish the choke, all I do is puff my chest into Kiana and give a little squeeze. Okay, so again, when we're here, Again, we're attacking that wrist lock. I miss, he switches to the underhook, but this time he gets a little deeper, that's okay. I just want to give him that space he needs so I can start wrapping the neck. Okay, now from here I can lock. Now from here I can switch my base and start making my way to the mount where I can finish with good pressure. Okay, so if you guys want, work this series together. So you should go like this. One, two, And three. All right, let's try one, two. 